if you're not already embedding copyright metadata into your images, you're going to want to start doing that today. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that really easily using Photoshop so that you only have to do it one time and then it's automatically applied to your images anytime you launch the program or export a photo. All right, so I've loaded this image here into Photoshop so we can add the copyright to our metadata. And from here, there are a few different ways you can tell whether or not the file contains copyright information. The first one is if we look at this tab here where we have the file name, there should be a C symbol here for copyright, but in this case, you can see that it's missing. So we can also come up to the file tab here and we'll come on down to file info. And then within this basic section here, you can see the copyright status is unknown, as well as the copyright notice is completely blank. And then finally, if we open up the file location, I just have this saved to my desktop. We'll go ahead and right click on this. We'll go to properties. And then if you come on over to the details tab, you can see this copyright section here, and this is also blank. So we're gonna go ahead and use Photoshop to add this copyright information to our file, but we're also going to create an action so that it's automatically applied to an image anytime you open it within Photoshop. So the first thing we want to do here is to create a template where we will store the copyright information. So to do that, we'll come back up to file, go on into file info. And here I'm just going to change the copyright status to copyrighted and I will paste in my information. If you're manually typing this in, you can create this C symbol by holding the alt key on your keyboard and pressing 0169 on the keypad and it will automatically create that symbol for you. And then feel free to include any other details that you would like to store in your file, such as a document title, or maybe you want to include your name as the author. And then we'll come on down here to this dropdown and click on export. We'll go ahead and give our template a name. We'll just call this Stephanie's House Copyright. And this is just gonna be stored in a folder that I created on my PC called Metadata Templates. We'll click Save, and then we'll go ahead and click OK. So now you can see we have the copyright symbol up here next to our file name, but this only applies to this particular image. If I were to import another image into Photoshop, I would have to go through this same process to apply the copyright information and then export it with that information within the metadata. So what we want to do here is create an action so that it's automatically applied anytime we load an image into Photoshop. So to do that, I'm first gonna come back into our file info and remove this copyright information just so that we can re-record these actions here so we're just gonna back this out and click OK and now to record our action we're gonna come up here to window and select the actions option here and if you'd like you can create your own folder to store your own custom actions in so I'm just gonna call this one Stephanie's house click OK and now we're ready to create a new action so to do that click on the plus button here you can name this whatever you'd like I'm gonna call this Stephanie's house copyright and then you can store it in whichever set you would like, whether that's default actions or this new folder that we've just created. So I'm gonna select that one. And now we're ready to hit record and go through those same steps again. So I'm gonna press record, and then we're gonna come back over to file, file info one more time. We're gonna change our copyright status to copyrighted. We'll paste in our copyright info, click okay. And now you can hit stop on the recording. Now there's one more thing we need to do in order to have Photoshop automatically apply the copyright information to your file metadata, and that is to have the program run a script. This sounds a lot more confusing than it is, and it actually only takes a few steps. So we'll come on back up to File, and then we'll hover over Scripts, and then come on down to Script Events Manager. We want to go ahead and select that action that we just created. So in order to do that, we'll click this action box here. And from the default actions dropdown, I'll select Stephanie's house. And then you can see the Stephanie's house copyright is automatically populated in this dropdown. Now we just need to decide on which events we want this action that we just created to be applied. So from this Photoshop event dropdown, I'm gonna select open document and then we'll click add. And then let's also do anytime we create a new document and I'm going to select save a document. Go ahead and click done and we'll go ahead and test this. I'm just going to export the file. I'm going to make sure this copyright and contact info box is checked and then we'll click on export and then I'm just going to rename this to copyright. Mm -hmm. So now here is our newly exported file. I've renamed it to copyright. So let's right click it, go back into properties, 
check our details tab here and now we can see that copyright info has been applied to the metadata within our file. So just to test this a step further, I'm gonna go ahead and open this old file in Photoshop. Let's first make sure that the copyright info is still missing. We can confirm that that is blank. So I'm just gonna drag and drop this into Photoshop. And you can see automatically the copyright symbol was applied to the tab up here. And if we go back into file, file info, automatically applied it here as well. So as you can see, this only took us a couple of minutes to go through. So take the time to do this so that you never have to think about it again. Let me know if there are any questions I can answer for you and I'll see you in the next one.